everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nicole and I am mum to a little girl named Penelope who is two years old and a little boy named Henry who is just 10 weeks old. So in today's video, I just wanted to talk to you about the top 10 items that I have found essential in having a newborn baby. These don't include things like a pram or a cot or things like that because I think that they're obviously going to be definite essentials. When I was going to become a new mum first time round, I did ask around people what they thought was a waste of money and what they thought was essential. I went with my own gut instinct with a lot of the items and these are the things that I deem essential even though some people out there may not think so as well. So if you'd like to see which items that I deem a top 10 essential, please keep on watching. So the first item that I will recommend to anyone is a travel cot. The travel cot we got was actually for in our bedroom for when Penelope was the first six months where they have to stay in your room. I did look at like a swinging crib or a Moses basket and they were coming up quite expensive for we were only gonna have it for six months and then someone else recommended the this travel cot. So I thought, oh well the travel cot will be too big for her, she'll only be a newborn baby, but it ha actually has like a suspended layer that's higher up for when they are newborn and you can take that out as they get older and put it at the bottom and use it as a regular travel cot and it's also got like a music pack on there so you can play classical music it's got um, like white noise sounds like the ocean and birds chirping things like that it also has a vibration pack so you can put the vibration mode on because some babies like that to soothe them um, trying to think of what else. it also came with like a changing table on top and for what we paid we've gotten so much use out of it I think it's a really good item and if it's still available I will link it below I did get it from Toys R Us so I'm just hoping that they still have it in stock and we used it for Penelope and I am now using it for Henry and I could not speak any higher of this item I think it's a really good purchase and really worth the money and we've gotten so much use out of it. The next item if you are formula feeding is a steriliser because you're going to need to sterilise the bottles for up to six months we actually have a Tommy Tippy one it was really inexpensive and we've gotten so much use out of it because we used it for Penelope and we are now using it for Henry as well and it's lasted it's really quick and easy to use you just fill up one of the bottles to the little dotted lines and then you pour that into the sterilizer just load up your bottles on the um, the little rack that's provided and then there is a top rack to put on the teats and the lids and there's like a little flap to put like a little plastic bit to hook the lids onto um, and then you just pop it all in put the lid on press the button and I think it takes about four minutes I've not actually tried any other sterilizers so I can't really compare but all I found is it's really quick really easy and it does the job so I would recommend the Tommy Tippy sterilizer the next item that I really love is my changing table and this caused a real debate on Facebook amongst my friends when I did ask for their recommendation with a ton of people saying do not buy one it's a waste of money and other people saying get one it's a lifesaver and for me personally I have found it a lifesaver I did not spend a lot of money mine is just an Ikea one it was really inexpensive and I've just bought storage boxes to go underneath it and I found it's just amazing it's actually quite annoying now that Penelope doesn't have it in her bedroom because I have less storage for her and because it's now in, I'm using it for Henry's room so a lot of these things have all got the use for both babies the changing table I found really handy for the storage and when she got a bit older and she could run off I could put her on the changing table and she would let me get re get her ready not a problem I found that whenever I tried to get her ready like on her bed or anywhere else she would be running all over the show whereas on the changing table she was just there and that was it and I found it really good for bonding time as well when the newborn babies I always found it a really nice way to bond with the baby we could do baby massage and baby yoga on there and I suffer with a really bad back so I found it handy having it at that level rather than bending over on the floor to do those things which is what some people said they did but I really struggle with that so the changing table is a definite winner for me. The next item that I love is a bouncer chair and both Penelope and Henry are not fans of being laid down on their back in a Moses basket or anything they like to be sat up and nosing around. Penelope had a bouncer chair and then 
because hers was pink I got a new one for Henry he just has the one from my baby it was around 50 pounds I got it from Argos but you can get them on the my baby website I will link it below and it's really nice quality it rocks and it has a vibration um, sensor on there the one that I had for Penelope they don't sell anymore um, that had the vibration sensor on it as well as the bounce bouncing sensation and I think that one also had music on there there are so many different bouncer chairs that you can get but we've just found it a really good item to have because both children have loved their bouncer chairs one thing I found really useful with having a newborn baby is to make noise especially like when they're sleeping it's so loud in my house they've got the dogs barking we've got Penelope making a racket wherever she goes so if Henry couldn't sleep with noise then I would be screwed basically we just always have have some kind of white noise on all the time when Henry was first born and for Penelope we just used the music box that came on the travel cot but for Christmas Henry got this um, polar bear it is a VTEC polar bear and I think it was from B&M I'm not sure because it was bought for him off someone else and I absolutely love this bear it's got a different settings on it it's got light settings on here so it plays the um, like it does lights all the way around the room and it also plays different music and it's got like um some kind of sensor on there so if the baby starts making any noise in the night it'll start playing it so you don't have to get up because with the music box on the travel cot we would have it has a timer on it to turn it off so if the baby did stir in the night you would have to get up and put it on again whereas this one will just turn itself on and I think that's a really good find um you can get other ones this i think is that sean the sheep thing um that everyone keeps raving about I've not tried it personally but white noise definite for getting babies to sleep the next item is a baby bath and the baby bath insert and this was also amongst a debated topic with between my friends where some people saying don't bother and other people saying do again my bad back is what wins me over on this one because i can't physically lean over into our actual bath to bath the babies um because it's just too too low down for me to lean with my bad discs so the baby bath is great because i can put it on the changing table or i can sit down on the floor next to it so the one we've got is this one it is from mamas and papas it is pink because i got it for when i had penelope so poor henry again is left with a pink item i'm sure he doesn't mind and the bath insert is just this one here it was five pound from tesco i was going to get the angel care one but I, I'm one of them people that I like to see it a lot of the time in a shop and I couldn't find it in any shop when I was looking online I was thinking I don't know if I really want to order this item without testing it like actually feeling it and seeing it in person so when I was in Tesco and I saw this one and I thought it's only five pounds I'll give it a try and it's been brilliant so for 20 pound difference like I can't see the other one being much better than that to be honest with you so yeah that was a really good help for us and um, we didn't have the insert with Penelope last time I think it's made such a difference in bathing him I think he really enjoys lying in there he sits there just lording it up thinking he's like the king or something in it um he's just super cute when he's laying there but yeah I would definitely recommend um a baby bath and a bit bath insert as well especially if you've got a bad back Another item that is an essential item, but you may be stuck on which kind to buy, is a baby monitor. There are so many different kinds that you can get out there. There's the video ones, there's the sensor ones. So we was a bit like, what What do we get with this baby monitor? Honestly, um, the thought of the video ones really freaks me out because I thought, what if something pops up on there like in a horror movie and the more I thought about it the more it freaked me out and I was like we are not getting a video monitor we ended up just getting a regular just like a walkie talkie style um old-fashioned one really and um, that's what you can hear beeping because I've unplugged it to show you this bit's beeping so it's a Tommy Tippy one and it was quite inexpensive really so this is the base unit and um, it has this temperature on the screen of the room when you plug it in so you know how hot or cold the baby's room is or where the baby's sleeping and um, you've got the volume and everything on there it's got a night light that you can turn on and so that's just the base thing and the thing that's beeping because I've unplugged this is the walk around thing it's just telling me it's got no service so you know if that goes off then that'll start beeping so you know that it's not connected um but it's really good if you if the baby starts making a noise it all it lights up as well as 
um, well, like you can hear the baby. It's got two way, you just press this button on the side and you can talk through to the baby in the room. Even though it's quite a basic um, monitor, I think it's a really good one. It served as well with Penelope and the same again with Henry. And to be honest, we only really need it like if they're upstairs and we're downstairs because if we're all upstairs, like in separate rooms, we can hear each other. But when like, Henry will start sleeping by himself upstairs and we'll be downstairs at night we wouldn't be able to hear him so it is really good then and it's quite sensitive at picking up the noise so as soon as they make a little bit of a noise you can hear it so yeah I would recommend that I mean it's up to you how in depth of a baby monitor you want to get if you want to go with a, a video one and risk seeing the girl from the ring showing up on there then that is your choice but me personally, I didn't want to be creeped out when looking at my baby in the um, the crib. And also, someone told me about the ones with the pads that you put underneath them that sense the baby's heart rate, that hers kept beeping off all the time. A couple of people said this. So they would be running in really quick to see what was wrong with the baby because it was saying the heart rate and they were fine and they were waking the babies up. So for me personally, I would stick with just the good old fashioned walkie talkie style. The next item that I would recommend to get is a thermometer and not just any old thermometer like the ones that you put in your mouth or under their armpit or anything like that because those are pants what you want to be getting is an ear thermometer and one that reads temperature really really quick and I bought one originally off Amazon and it broke and I don't know what brand that was or anything so this time I just got a brown one it had good recommendations and I cannot fault it I didn't get one straight away with Penelope because I had one of the the mouth thermometers and I thought oh that'd be fine it'll be you know you just put it in hold it there for a minute and you get a temperature and you want to get a newborn baby or a toddler to hold still for a minute with that in the mouth you've got another thing coming so getting an ear one that gives you a reading in like a second was the best thing that I ever did especially over winter where there's been bugs going around and Penelope's had a temperature like every few days it's been really good so I can just quickly stick it in her ear press the button and it's done whereas trying to pin her down to put like the thermometer in her mouth or hold it under her arm it's just not happening so definitely worth investing in one of these especially with baby's health you can never be too careful with the temperature and whenever I would turn up at the doctors and they'd say what was the temperature and I'd be like oh I couldn't take it because she wouldn't sit still they'd look at you like you had two heads and you was crazy so yeah definitely worth investing in one of those so even though I'm using Tommy Tippy bottles in my Tommy Tippy um, steriliser and what have you um, I did get some man bottles and I found these man bottles really really good especially if you're out and about and you can't get back to sterilize your bottles they're really really good for that because sometimes we'll go away for the day and you don't know you don't want to be carrying like all your sterilizer and everything with you so these bottles are really really good and they're really cute but we got these actually as samples from the toddler and baby event and all you do is you take unscrew the bottom and you unscrew the teat and you pop that in there, you pop some water in, um, just a little bit, screw that on, pop your lid on and you stick that in the microwave for three minutes and it's sterile. So if you're out, one of them people that are out and about all day long and you want, you're gonna be worried about sterilizing your bottles, these bottles are really, really good. And also the dummies as well. They come in these sterile boxes. So all you do is you just fill this bottom bit here with water and then pop them in the microwave for three minutes and you have sterile dummies. So that's really easy. That's come in handy when, because babies spit the dummies out all the time and they always land teeth down on the floor. So I'll give them a quick wash, shove them in there whilst you're out and it's it's easy as so I would definitely recommend these especially if you're one of them people that are on the go all the time and you're worried about carting sterilizer about with you with these you don't need to do that the next item that I would recommend buying is a changing mat that you can take out and about with you in your changing bag most establishments now will have an area where you can change your baby with um, changing tables and whatnot but if you've been there recently you will know that they're not the most hygienic of places and I wouldn't want to put my my little baby on top of one of them because they're just gross so having your own like little changing mat inside your changing bag at all times it just covers those bases this came with mine that I got with my pram so it's just a no, nothing much to it you could even just put a sheet in there just to cover up but something that you can put in your changing bag to take out and about with you and not just rely 
on the changing tables wherever you go because like I said I took like even in Asda I took Henry to change him the other week in Asda and I was like this is disgusting and the only place that I found was really really nice was the ones at the Trafford Centre because they have like papers that you can put across but every, anywhere else I've been I've been like no put my changing mat down and obviously as well if you're at other people's houses and baby's done a mess and you want to just make sure you put the mat underneath and they just come uh, in real handy I know that because my last changing bag didn't come with a changing mat so I had to buy one separate and um, this one came with one so if you, yours doesn't come with one then I would just recommend going out and buying a cheap one just to stick in the bag for when you're out and about so those are my top 10 essential baby items and again some people might not deem them essential but those are what I found I really needed and found really helpful to have I hope this is helpful for you if you're going to be a new mum or if you're already a mum and you're looking for items to get that are different from what you've already tried thank you for watching my video don't forget to hit that subscribe button for see more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!